hate really come down to fear, fear of the unknown, fear of difference. Fear that people who are different from us will maybe take away what we have and we won't be able to share. I think the primary cause of hate is misunderstanding. A lot of it has to do with people being disconnected, not knowing each other, only having stereotypes and stories, right, that are told by the media, by, um, you know, people who are trying to actively divide us. What comes to mind for me is comparison. The idea of feeling that you need to want more, you know, it's like somebody else has this, why can't I have that? Feeling the best is lashing out and feeling the best is being able to hurt somebody else because I'm hurt. And when you can find patience and when you're able to wait for a better solution or for the right time to have a conversation, that's when we're able to overcome hate. I think the opposite of hate is courage. So even if we're afraid, or even if we're scared or uncomfortable, being courageous enough to let our hearts be open to someone who might look different, think different, pray differently, and welcome them as part of our community and be in a relationship with them. Communication. A person might just keep believing what they believe and not want to go past that just because that's what they believe. They don't want to talk to someone who has different beliefs. They don't want to associate with someone who has different beliefs. So I think communication. Love. Love, most definitely. I think love is the complete opposite. Um, I don't want to be cheesy, but I think, I think love. But I think in a different way to say it, maybe it's connection. The opposite of hate is when people have opportunities to get exposure to people who are different than them people who have different types of, of thinking and different perspectives and there is this beautiful like warmth and inclusivity that comes about when people are open to people of all different identities. This is where we get back to this conversation of what do people need to combat hate? They need education, they need exposure, they need meaningful relationships. I think CCJ combats hate through education. Um, like before I got into CCJ, like I didn't really know much. Like I knew from social media about like racial justice and gender justice, but really getting to um, CCJ has allowed me to just know so much more. The way that CCJ combats hate that I think is very important um, is that we bring people together, and I don't just mean that in like. Oh look, everyone has a different skin color, everyone has a different identity, people have different pronouns. Great, mission accomplished. I think we, we really work to bring people together and be like, okay, you all are different, maybe similar in some ways, and then let's get real. What is going on here? What is it that divides you? What do you think about each other? What do you fear about each other? What would it take for you to really respect and connect with each other? Um, if you're in a school, what is it going to take for you to do positive things at school, right? To make your school a place that welcomes and respects everybody. I think CCEJ combats hate by giving people a space where they feel comfortable. CCEJ allows people to be vulnerable and be heard, and I think that is more than enough because in a lot of spaces that just isn't possible. It is a place to learn what is harmful and what is respectful through usually the eyes of youth. We also don't know who our work is going to touch and in what ways. And that to me is just a beautiful piece of what the work we're doing. We're touching lives and we don't even know we're touching them. And we know that we're having direct impact on the hundreds of young people that have come to camp, that engage with us, the hundreds of thousands of adults that we work with in a year. Yeah, so you know, even though the world is divided and there's so much violence and that there is horrible things and that we're afraid of each other a lot, 
we still deserve to find love and happiness and peace and connection, uh, connection and community, right? And do that. Like we're still owed that even as we're trying to make things better, right? To be human, I think, is to have all of that experience.